Hey yo, this is Dash. Yeah. yeah. Hey yo, this is Dash, and today I'm going to do something a little different. I want to talk to you guys about these long range thermometers. And I have two different types of them. Uh, the first one I have is actually a Ready Check um, Maverick. The model number is ET733, which is a uh, the Maverick long range thermometer. These are a little expensive. I've since been able to find this. This is a uh, aviation? Ivotation. I don't know. But it's a knockoff uh, brand of the the uh, Ready Check or the Maverick one. And they work just as well and are half the price. Ask me how I know. Well, first and foremost, I have three, I think three of these that I paid probably 60 to $70 for. Uh, over time and then of uh, these I have uh, I think I have two of these that um, over time these have just broken and stopped working now mind you don't don't let me scare you here this has been like these have been in service for probably uh, going on three years and uh, all of the senders and the, the, the those units work fine um, I just kind of gone from this one to more or less using these but what I'll do is I'll show you some differences between the two of these and um, you can make your own decision. So, like, you, you see the, the, they all are pretty much the same. They have the almost exact same footprint. The only difference between them is the button layout. And the button layout really doesn't make much different uh, because once you know how to program this one, you can program this one. And, or if you can program this one, you can program this one. Again, the only differences between the two, aside from the color of the outside case, which you can get the, um, the uh, Maverick models in black and red um, is this the 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 button layout is the only difference and the cost of course all right so now what I'll do is I'll bring you guys down and I will show you how to program your uh, Maverick or your uh, what is it Ivitation. IV, I don't know. Anyway, this model number is IVAWT738, and it is also a long range uh, wireless thermometer. Um, and I'll show you how to set these up. So give me a moment. Okay, so here we are up and close, and uh, I, I think I figured this is Ivation. All right, so this is the uh, Ivation receiver and uh, transmitter this is the receiver and this is the transmitter I got these off of Amazon they are um, linked in the description but they're less than I believe they were 40 bucks alright so now one of the things you'll notice I'm gonna turn on the receiver first now you can see where we have uh, two different temperature probes we have two different temperature probes and you see it flashing from one to two and all right to two and you see where it says food up here now these uh the the because the the receiver excuse me or the transmitter is not transmitting right now there's no temperature and i can't do anything so if i press the set button and how you set it is you press and hold the set button and it's not doing anything because the the transmitter is not on. So what we'll do is we'll turn the transmitter on and you see the on off button. So all you do is hold it. And then the transmitter is going to come on. Now, one of the things up oh, and actually it hadn't been long enough. All right. So one of the things you notice is um, the temperature is being displayed. I thought that I, I turned this the receiver on far enough in advance where the transmitter did not or was not going to actually send the signal but um, alas it did now if you ever turn the receiver on ahead of time before you turn on the transmitter all you have to do is press and hold the um, the temperature button on the back and this works for both the Maverick and the Ivation ones um, and you see where it says down there where it says resync all you have to do is press and hold it and it'll send the signal back to any transmitter, um, by the way. 
and it will resync it. Now, these instructions I'm going to give you are going to work on the Maverick as well as the Ivation. And this Maverick, this is you see, it's labeled number one. This is the first one that I bought, and then once I bought this one, I ended up buying uh, the second one. And uh, the number two is uh, like two or three months newer than number one, but they're like three years old, maybe even four years old. But nonetheless, the instructions I'm going to give you for this for the Maverick will also work on the Ivation. And um, these again, these models are very similar. The only difference is the button layout. So now, um, so one of the beautiful things about this this particular uh, device. And you see my, I think, no, battery's fine. So one of the beautiful things about this device is you press and hold set. And then it blinks. Now, you see where it's blinking up at the top where it says one? Now, in order for you to go so you can change one, one in the settings are beef and it's in food mode. So let's, and I took too long. So we're going to press set again. Hold, press and hold set. Now you can press the down arrow. Pressing the down arrow is going to take you to the second um, probe. And then you have a one and a two on the back of the uh, transmitter so that you can see which probe you're actually um, monitoring. So again, I took too long. So let's do this. We're going to change. So let's say we're cooking some chicken. So we're going to press and hold one, um, the set button. And then we're going to press the down arrow. We don't really need to. And then we're going to press uh, meat. Actually, I'm sorry. This button here, this light button. Oh. Sorry. There we go. So we press set again, and then it's on barbecue. Now, if I were going to change it from food to barbecue, then I could change it and I'd press this on the. And this is one of the things that, that they kind of got wrong. See where there's a mode here also? That's where pressing the set and the, the light, I'm sorry, uh, they come in and work hand in hand. So again, we're gonna press set, and then I'm gonna leave it on one, I'm gonna change, press set again, and then it's flashing for the mode. And I'm gonna change the mode from barbecue, you can see where it says barbecue, to food, and that's where we get our beef again. And then we're gonna press set again, and then we have our uh, meat is flashing. So now you press meat, and it'll cycle through. There's 13 different presets here. So there's pork, chicken, turkey, deer, and then you can also change the taste, taste excuse me, setting. So if you want it uh, rare, obviously it's set to 135 degrees. Medium rare is 140, and then rare again is 135. Now, if we go to meat, there's elk, there's moose, there's buffalo, there's rabbit, there's boar, duck, bird. Uh, I don't really know what other bird, but maybe like a quail or a pheasant or something. There's fish, there's beef, all right? And then, of course, beef is the one that has the most settings, so you can have well done, that's 160. We have medium at 150, we have medium rare at 140, and then rare at 125. I like my steaks at uh, about 145. Um, so it's in between a medium rare and a medium. But, uh, so now we have our beef and then we're gonna change our meat again. So there's veal, there's lamb, there's pork, and there's chicken. So now, one of the things that I do, I don't necessarily agree with this 170 um, temperature. So what you can do is you can press the up arrow. So if I'm cooking some chicken wings, I might take my chicken wings to 175. I just wanna make sure they're done and um, that they, they pretty much fall off of the bone in, in essence. Now, if I'm cooking, uh, oh, took too long. So we're gonna go back, we're gonna uh, press set again, we're on food, press set again to get to chicken, and then I'm gonna lower this here, all right? So now, if I'm doing a whole chicken, I'll take the whole chicken to 165 because I know it's done. So if I'm doing chicken or turkey, I'll take it to 165, tempt at the breast. If I want to temp it in the thigh, oh, it took too long. All right, so we press set, 
we go to chicken and then I can press the up arrow if I want to tempt the thigh then I can temp it at 175 okay so that's pretty much it on how you set the food aspect of this thermometer now one of the, the beautiful things with this and the reason why I don't have any of the Maverick transmitters is because the Maverick transmitters that I have are actually permanently affixed to uh, to my smokers out in the garage and what I have them set up for is when I'm inside of the house um, when I'm inside of the house period I will press set and then I'll press down arrow for two okay and then if I am cooking something or monitoring the temperature out in the garage I will press set again and then I'm on the mode I will press this light which is for the mode and then now one of the things you can see I press set again and then that gives me my high temperature so what I can do is if I'm monitoring my smoker I can take my high temperature down to about 285 and all you do is press and hold to get it to go fast and then I'll press set again and I can take my low temperature to 245 nope didn't do it fast enough so I'm going to press set again go to number two Press set and we're on the mode. You see the mode is blinking. The high temperature is blinking. Let's actually set it to 285. I'll press set again and then I can move this down to two. Usually I'll do 235. All right. I don't want it to go any lower than 235 and I don't want it to go any higher than 285. The beautiful thing about this is um, the probes, the temperature probes, can be used for food or ambient air temperature. So I can stick the probe, and this is uh, one of the, the probe tips. Now this is a, um, this probe, this particular probe, is for food or air temperature, okay? There are some probes that are specifically for air temperature, and you can get those on Amazon. What I'll do is I'll link, um, I'll put links to all of these things in the description below. But what happens is if the temperature in the smoker gets lower than 235 degrees it'll beep and the temperature goes above 285 degrees it'll beep and what I use this for is so I don't have to babysit the smoker especially in the middle of the winter so that I can come back inside where it's warm um, and not have to spend all night at, it, at the smoker do is I can set the um, I can pretty much fill the smoker with wood and once I fill it with wood I can uh, you know kind of set it and forget it for about an hour hour and a half before the temperature will spike at about 285 290 degrees and it'll slowly come down to that 200 and I try and get it before it gets to 235 just so I'm not fighting and the the, the temperature spike isn't ebbing and flowing as much um, but hopefully this was helpful to you um, and it will help you to understand how and or why the wireless thermometer is a great uh, barbecue tool. So uh, if you like me talking about some of the different tools that I use um, for my business, leave a comment down below and tell me what else you'd like to see. So pick something in the uh, down in the description. Those are some of my favorite barbecue toys and tools. And um, what I will do is I, I can break this break it down just like this again and give you a detailed explanation of how it works and or maybe how I use it. So um, please, uh, like I said, leave a comment down below and tell me what you thought of this video and if you want to see more of these. Uh, thanks as always for watching. If you haven't already, please do thumb up the video. It helps uh, me out a lot. And uh, if you'd like to share this video with someone who might be um, interested in learning how to use a wireless thermometer or someone who might need one. Thanks again as always for watching. I'll see you next time.